So this is the new 2019 System76 Oryx Pro laptop. This is the 16 inch model with an i7-9750, 16 gigs of RAM, an NVIDIA RTX 2060, Samsung 970 EVO 250 gig of uh, space and a 144 hertz screen. Now one thing that's not going to come through on this video is just how great this screen looks with being 144 refresh. It's not something that's easy to convey but I can tell you if you haven't seen a 144 refresh screen it has like a different clarity and look to it. This laptop is a demo model that was sent to us from System76 uh, for review. Actually, it was sent to Jay for review, but Jay does a lot of his stuff here from Learn Linux TV. So he has a complete unboxing video and has a few more, more in-depth videos on this laptop. But I was going to give you my impressions of it. And so far, playing with it the last couple days has been a lot of fun. I'm not the biggest gamer, so I actually had my staff do some of the game testing on here. But we'll talk a little bit about the performance and feel of the laptop. Now. Let's jump into the specs in System76 first. So the first thing I want to bring up is who is System76? System76 is a custom integrator, also the authors of Pop! OS, which I've talked about before on my channel, and they spec out completely Linux compatible hardware, laptops, etc. So if you're looking for a laptop, a computer that is not maybe going to run Linux, but going to be shipped with you, ready to rock and roll with Linux and not have to try and hunt down any drivers or compatibility issues and things like that. That is what System76 specializes in. 100% Linux compatible can be pre-shipped to you or you can load it with whatever Linux distribution of choice, but you don't have to do that wondering or guessing or research to find out whether or not the hardware is compatible. Now, looking over here at the Oryx Pro, they already have, because they don't want to just show you the laptop, they actually go through trouble showing you the insides of the laptop. So you can see the way the heat pipes are laid out, uh, the dual fans for the processor and the NVIDIA graphics card. I really like the openness of this because some of the companies have moved towards let's solder things on, let's make it so you buy it and that's it and let's just glue it together so you can never open it or change or customize anything. And uh, System76, their systems are a lot more open, uh, the ones they have right now, including this one right here. And they have all the little details. Uh, they spare nothing on here in terms of, you know, like weight, dimensions, all of that. So if you uh, have any of those little concerns and details, I'll just leave you the specs right here and a link to this. Now, one of the things I love about System76 is their design and buy. Uh, this is like anytime you want to buy any of their systems, they just have one of the easiest ways to do it. Uh, easy big buttons. This is a 16 inch model, but if we wanted a 17 inch, you can just click whichever you want and it builds the cart very quickly. And at the end, you can add to the cart. Now, as I stated, when you see the inside of this, this does support an additional two and a half inch drive, an additional NVMe drive. It only has one in here right now. But it's nice that those are expandable options and the dual memory slots in it. Now, as far as ports and accessibility goes, this is kind of a problem for me. They have the power in the middle. Now, that's fine as long as the power cord is going behind the laptop. But obviously, it's in the way if you want to plug in something HDMI if you have it plugged in kind of in front of you. Not a huge deal, but something worth note because most of the time I'm used to them being more over on the corner. They do have a full-size HDMI, one mini display port, two USB-Cs, and one standard USB-3. And on the other side, we have a headphone jack, microphone jack, USB-3, card reader, and a really cleverly made RJ45. Now, I like that they have these on here, so I don't have to use some adapter, so I can easily plug a network cable into this. And I've felt these on some laptops that have been kind of flimsy, and I'm always afraid I'm going to break them. This one's well-made, solid, has a nice stop to it, and closed, obviously, it keeps it so the lines on here are nice and smooth. Now, the other thing, too, that I was curious is, do I need to fiddle with it to get it to plug in? Nope. Plugs right in and gets out of the way, so it's properly curved, so when you put in a network jack, it just goes right in, no problem, no fiddling with it, and snaps right back out, doesn't get stuck in there. And it's also quite secure, so as long as the tabs are good on your network jack, it's not going to pull out easily. And looking at the laptop from the back, you can see where the vents are here on the bottom and on the back where the venting goes out. So this is generally where all your heat is. So obviously if you're, you have to be careful that you're not pushed this up against something so the heat still has a place to escape. And it still does have the one heat vent over here. And on this corner does have a Kensington lock. Being a 16 inch laptop means they had room for a full size keyboard. The key travels good. I found it really easy to type on. I do like the backlighting. It's uh, nice. It's not too bright. It's just kind of the right 
uh, ambience, I think, for being able to see in the dark and be able to type on it. The brightness is adjustable over here. I didn't see any option. It cycles through certain colors, but I didn't see any real customization options in terms of setting it so it'll like do ambient colors or as they call it, breathing, where it cycles through all the other colors. The key travel's good. I like having uh, the full size, like I said, because of the numpad on the side. I didn't have any problems typing with it. It's actually nice because this is a good size keyboard. So as you can see with my hands, it's still well spread out. It actually is, it feels weird because I'm used to really tiny laptops that I personally use. Uh, so it's kind of, very desktop-ish to have this full-size keyboard in front of you. So as far as the system itself, it's running currently Pop! OS, and that is an option when you order it. You can have it shipped to Pop! OS or Ubuntu, but of course, uh, Jay has, I believe, tried a few other Linux distros that he's gonna have on his channel. Uh, it, it's a Linux compatible laptop, so you can really load whatever you want, but it's nice from the factory. Uh, you're not trying to you know, reload it when you get it to have something on there, such as replacing Windows and wasting the license. You can jump right into using it as a Linux system. And System76, if you choose their Pop! OS, they have a really nice OEM install where it's partially set up and ready for you to finish the setup, including the drive encryption with your own password on the first boot. So that's a really nice feature. Now, one of the things I'll note as well on this is when you go here to the battery, there's an option for high performance, balanced. We'll make sure it's in performance mode. But the other thing that's on here is NVIDIA or Intel graphics. This has the dual graphics option. So when you care about games and performance, you wanna go with the NVIDIA graphics, you turn it on. If you want to go with the Intel to save some power and turn off the NVIDIA, you hit it here and it restarts each time you do this. Not a big deal for the restart. It's kind of a novel uh, approach though that you can just switch between them. I believe in some of the Windows ones and I barely use Windows computers are like this. I think they have an option to do it without restarting. Uh, maybe that'll be a future uh, system option in Linux, but for now it does require a restart. So I will note that. I tested and did my usual workflow. I know I'm kind of boring. I edit videos and uh, do Linux things on here, but I found the laptop to be very responsive and fast. And I was really impressed with how fast it rendered video. And it, you know, overall, no problems there. But of course, that's not overly exciting to talk about. I will show too, one of the things I really like, you know, running this higher end graphics in here and being very fast, all the applications pop out really smooth. The animations are just absolute butter. But let's talk about this. Let's actually talk about gaming performance. Seeing as it does have an NVIDIA uh, card in here, I went ahead and loaded Steam. By the way, when you wanna load Steam on a uh, System76 running Pop! OS, there's no special things you have to do. Just log into your Steam account, uh, wait for things to download, and many, many games will run within Linux, including Doom. So let's show you the performance of this game because it's graphically pleasing. Uh, it's one that's kind of fun to play with. Uh, warning, it does have some as they call it, graphic violence on there. But uh, overall, we'll just uh, we'll run through a quick session of Doom to show you the frame rate we get with this. And the noise level. As you may have noticed, you don't hear any fan noise. Doing the usual things, this computer is very, very quiet. But when you start digging into doing uh, a game or something like this, you're going to get a little bit more fan noise as they spin up. And I'm going to, you're starting to hear it now. I'm going to let them go to full tilt. And so you can get the idea of just how much ambient noise is here. I'm not canceling out any of the noise. I don't have a decibel meter, but I want to get the idea of what you're going to hear with this laptop. And I need to find a mouse. So we have the frame rate up in the top corner and you can see no problems locked in here at 50, uh, 60 frames a second. And Tom is terrible at games. This is why I don't have a gaming channel. It's really not my thing. I am bad at this. But you can see that the performance is definitely good on this. No problem playing it. Now you have he heard, it only takes a few minutes. The fans are at their full capacity. This is as loud as it gets. So it's pretty reasonable. It's not, it's not unbearable. And most laptops I've seen when it comes to the gaming laptops, this is pretty typical average noise. Like I said, I don't have a desperator to blow everything up. All right, there we go. I don't have a decibel meter to really uh, show just how bad the noise is, but it's, like I said, it's pretty tolerable and it spins down pretty quick. So when we exit out of the game, uh, this pretty much goes away. All right, we're gonna go ahead and back out to this. Uh, oh, I guess I'm dying. There we go. Look, I died. <laughs> this is why Tom doesn't play games. So I let my staff play with this for a while. The system never really gets that hot. It doesn't feel um, 
dangerously warm even after about an hour or two of gameplay. You do feel a little warm by the screen where the vents exit, but the keyboard itself stays really cool and so does the bottom of the laptop. And we didn't add anything. We left it on a flat surface, so we didn't add or lift anything on there. Uh, so the thermals appear to be really good on this laptop. So overall, I think this is a really well-made, solid aluminum laptop. I do like the trackpad too. It's like super smooth, glossy, uh, great. But the matte finish here, uh, which I can show you that it does, I'm trying to get a fingerprint on it. Uh, it does hide fingerprints reasonably well. I actually am, you know, we wiped it off uh, after we used it a couple times, but even with a little bit of hands on there, it's not like too finger marked up. It's not like a glossy one where you're constantly fighting it. The uh, aluminum build of this and everything is really solid. The one thing I will say, if you're wondering how far the screen tilts back, it doesn't go very far. That's one thing I do like about some of them that will lay all the way flat. This is the extent of it. But if you're also noticing, I'm holding it by the corner. It's not all, I mean, there's a little flex to the screen, but it's really, really minor. And if you grab the laptop by the corner here, it's solid. It's not flexing. It's not flimsy feeling. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's going to break or like some cheap plastic toy. So my overall impressions is I really like it. As much as I'm not a huge gamer, this is a great gaming Linux laptop. The fans only take, you know, uh, a few minutes to spin down once you uh, lose at Doom like I do very quickly. <laughs> but uh, the system overall, a great performer. And, um, you know, I said we only spent a couple days with it, but my impressions are really good of it. Uh, Jay's going to have a more in-depth review and showing a couple different distros on it on his channel, so I'll leave a link over there. Uh, he also did the unboxing of it, so I didn't bother re-unboxing it. Uh, it does come with some cool stuff, including some stickers uh, that they ship with you in the box. And once again, System76 is a really solid company that provides uh, Linux-supported hardware, so you don't have to, it takes all the guesswork of what do I buy that will work with Linux, uh, which sometimes can be a challenge when you're like me and run Linux full time. Now I have no offer codes or special offers. This was just a demo unit from System76 that unfortunately has to go back in the box over there to get shipped back. Uh, so there's no affiliate links. This is not a paid sponsorship. Uh, this is just me reviewing a really interesting uh, laptop that if you're asking the question of, I want to play games and I want a Linux compatible laptop, what do I do? Get a System76 with Pop! OS and the Oryx Pro is a great choice for that. All right, thanks. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to this channel to see more content, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, and maybe YouTube will send you a notice when we post. If you want to hire us for a project that you've seen or discussed in this video, head over to lawrencesystems.com where we offer both uh, business IT services and consulting services and are excited to help you with whatever project you want to throw at us. Also, if you want to carry on the discussion further, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can keep the conversation going. And if you want to help the channel out in other ways, we offer affiliate links below, which offer discounts for you and a small cut for us that does help fund this channel. And once again, thanks again for watching this video and see you on next time.